I guess the, the, the simple answer of what's the best source of vitamin C are good fruits and vegetables. And if you're talking about a fruit that's high in vitamin C, things like strawberries and your berries are very high in vitamin C. So great sources, but ideally in season. A lot of people use vitamin C as a, uh, as a supplement as well. And the, the theory behind that is that if you consume uh, so in excess of 200 milligrams of vitamin C per day, you may reduce your instance of a common cold or severity and duration. A recent meta-analysis done by the Cochrane database has identified that vitamin C uh, consumed by the general population doesn't, in, uh, doesn't reduce the incidence of upper respiratory tract infections, coughs, you know, the common cold, but does seem to reduce the duration out and the amount of time people take off work or off school. So, uh, so my advice around vitamin C is that you probably don't need it all the time, you need to get it from, your, from, from a high quality diet, but if you feel like you're coming down with something, it is probably a good thing to add vitamin C uh, as a supplementation into your, into your diet at that stage to try and reduce the severity of it. That's different from if you're an athlete or if you're traveling. If you're an athlete or if you're traveling, certainly athletes who are exposed to uh, high amounts of training stress or cold, you can reduce the incidence, so the number of infections you have, by 50% by taking additional vitamin C. So for athletes or for sporting individuals, additional vitamin C can be very, very useful under, under those circumstances. Um, pure, Pure water and vitamin C, that, I mean, what you're really trying to, to, to do there is optimise your immune cell function. So if you want your immune system to work well, what you want to do is reduce the other things that it's being focused at. The vitamin C is all around trying to get your white cells to function optimally. And what you don't want them to be doing is, you don't want your immune system is being busy functioning, detoxifying and getting rid of other things that you've consumed in, your, uh, in the water that you drink rather than fighting off infections and so forth. So, and there's certainly some of the contaminants in water that we see may well affect, uh, directly affect immune cell function. So some of the, some of the chemicals that are, of those 60,000 chemicals that can occur in normal tap water may well affect how well your immune system actually functions. So if you're going to bother to certainly supplement with, with additional amounts of vitamin C, it sort of makes sense to try and take away uh, other things that your immune system might have to deal with so it functions optimally.